Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 ways to get ready and prepare for the upcoming school year. Now these are things I've done in the past, so I know they've definitely been helpful. So I hope you guys take away something from this video. Now if you end up enjoying it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss out more of my back to school videos. Now let's get started. Now the first thing on my list is about setting goals. I think goals both personal and academic are so important as students. Setting measurable and achievable goals is a great way to see your own growth over the course of a school year. For this upcoming semester, I've set three personal and academic goals that I want to achieve. I think I will definitely be setting more specific monthly goals, but they will all go towards these goals at the end. As for my academic goals, I have number one, stop procrastinating. I know this sounds very broad, but I have a gist of how I'm going to achieve this in my head. Number two is become more actively involved in all my classes. And number three is be consistent over the entire school year, whether that's being productive, studying, etc. And as for my personal goals, I want to be more tolerant and open, dedicate more time each week to de-stress, and go to bed before 11pm every night. The second thing you should do is clean out your room, closet, backpack, pencil case, and just really everything. Since it's the beginning of a new school year, I like to think of it as a new start. Although my room always seems quite clean on the surface, once you look through all the drawers, it's actually a disaster. So I usually dedicate a certain day or a couple days if I need it to go through every single part of my room and declutter it. This could include getting rid of books that I no longer need by donating them or giving them away to other students, and simply just throwing away all the junk I've been collecting over the past year. The third thing I try to do is set up a productive workspace. Now having a set workspace that is organized with good natural lighting and distraction free can be a great contributing factor to your productivity. I'd recommend having everything you need on your desk including all the stationaries and notebooks and paper this way to avoid the problem of having to get up every so often. And like I mentioned, sufficient natural lighting at your workspace is really beneficial but obviously not super attainable so it is important that you invest in quality lamps so you don't damage your eyes in the process. The lamp I have, I've had it for about 3 years and it honestly works great for me so I will definitely link it below if you guys are interested in checking it out. The next one is quite obvious and that is to go back to school supplies or clothes shopping. This one is normally viewed as the most entertaining aspect of going back to school and I don't disagree, but I would definitely recommend making a list of everything you need before going out to buy them or before purchasing them online to avoid getting excessive things that you don't need. If you guys are looking for aesthetic, almost Japanese stationery, then I think AliExpress is a really affordable place you should look at. This next one is to organize your notes from the previous school year. Now personally, I've gone through my notes in the beginning of summer where I decluttered and reorganized them under three different categories, which is recycled, keep just in case, and keep definitely for next year. If you haven't done this, I would definitely recommend doing it before school starts because it's so much more convenient for you if you want to look back at a specific set of notes. And in the process of organizing, if you find any set of notes incomplete, then you always have time to do it in the summer. Number six is adapt a planning system that works for you. 
Now, planning is so important if you truly want to be productive in the upcoming school year. I remember nearing the end of last semester when I stopped writing things down and stopped making to-do lists, I noticed that I would always forget to do something every single day. Now there are so many different systems out there including to-do lists, bullet journals, study planners, hourly planners, digital planning, etc. And I think it's important that you find the one that works for you because if you continuously use one that doesn't necessarily work for you, it's equivalent to not planning at all. My personal favorites are just planning on my phone using the notes app to make a very simple to-do list, writing down any to-do list, and the study planner from Ruby Granger. Similar to what was said about planners, I think it goes the same with organization methods that are suitable for your needs. Now there is no one system fits all kind of thing, at least as far as I know that only exists for clothing, so there is no such thing as binders better than folders or notebooks better than loose leaf paper, it's all really dependent on how you plan to use it and the purpose of it. For instance, if your class requires handing in notes or daily homework, then I obviously wouldn't want to use a notebook for that class. Similarly, if you need to take textbook notes every chapter, then having a dedicated notebook is probably useful. Honestly, I think it's more or less a try on error, but hopefully I'll share a video about my systems very soon. Number eight is to get your hands on textbooks as early as possible. As far as I'm aware, especially in high school, you don't really find out the textbooks you will be using until the school year officially starts. However, conveniently enough for me, I'm using the same textbooks as last semester, so having your textbook as a resource gives you the opportunity to look through it beforehand and preview a little bit of the chapters. On the note of that, I get a ton of messages on Instagram asking me why I'm doing work in the summer, and I am just briefly previewing my courses with the intention of making my life less stressful during the school year. Number nine is to fix your sleep schedule. Based on a lot of the comments I read, people seem to be watching my videos in the early hours of the morning, and I mean 2 or 3 a.m. I would highly suggest that you get that fixed before the start of the school year. Since in the summer you can sleep pretty much until whenever you want, you don't really necessarily feel tired, but going to school on four to five hours of sleep is definitely not sustainable in the long run, and it's not effective either. And on the note of fixing your sleep schedule, you should also attempt to figure out a sustainable routine for yourself. I've recently made videos about pretty much all of my routines, such as afternoon, night, morning, and study routines, which I will link below for your reference. I find it super helpful to have a structure to my day, and having a set routine allows me to know exactly when to do what, which in a sense allows me to avoid procrastinating as well. Lastly, I just wanted to pop in for a little reminder that you shouldn't get stressed in the process of getting ready for school because you will have so many opportunities to be stressed during the school year. Instead, focus on spending some quality time with your family, go out with your friends, and have a fun time. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe so you won't miss out more of my back to school videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!